Boar's Head is bringing a slice of Japan to the deli. Introducing Boar's Head Ichiban Teriyaki Style Chicken. Tender, slow-roasted chicken breast, coated in our signature teriyaki glaze, where ginger, garlic, and a hint of brown sugar meet for a flavor that's both sweet and savory. New Boar's Head Ichiban Teriyaki Style Chicken. The bold flavor of Japan, now at the deli. Only from Boar's Head. Compromise elsewhere. Blog Talk Radio. This is True Capitalist Radio. True Capitalist Radio. I am your host, the man they call Ghost. The badass of business. Give him capitalism or give him death. That's it. Period. Broadcasting from his Skyline Office Studios in beautiful downtown Austin, Texas. You sound fruitier than a box of Fruit Loops, for Christ's sake. And now, he'll take it from here. Your host, the prognosticator of prognosticators... The man they call Ghost. Help! Help me! Ah, it's Baller Friday! That's right, everybody, and I want to thank everybody for tuning in with me today on another and a very special Baller Friday edition of True Capitalist Radio. And, of course, I am your host, the man they call Ghost. And once again, folks, I want to thank everybody for tuning in with me. It is episode number 140 for all the folks that are keeping track of the True Capitalist broadcast. And before we get into anything else, I'd like for everybody to please retweet the broadcast, go to the forums, go to the social networks, the blogs, and spread it around like wildfire. And let everybody know that True Capitalist Radio is in effect and in the house. And remember, we got all kinds of buttons underneath the player there. So use and abuse those buttons, all right? It's just a freaking click, for Christ's sake. Anyway, before I get myself all riled up just trying to, you know, get people to go out there to promote the show... I do want to talk about Ben Bernanke's speech because I had made the assumption that had Ben Bernanke implemented QE3, we would have seen gains in the Dow Jones Industrials, about 600-plus points. We would see gains in gold, about $300 plus. But lo and behold, it seems that at this point in time, uh, I guess – I don't know, maybe Rick Perry bitched out Ben Bernanke. I don't know, but he didn't want to implement QE3, baby. He did not want to implement QE3, but at the same time, you know, as he alluded in the beginning of his speech that he wasn't going to implement any kind of economic instruments, uh, the market reacted, of course, and if you had uh, money in the market, it looked pretty grim. I mean, we were down 200 points right there at the beginning in the Dow Jones Industrial. Uh, But then, as Ben Bernanke continued his speech, and uh, the investors, with their helter-skelter, emotionally impulsive bitch ass, started uh, comprehending what Bernanke was saying, I personally believe, and of course there's a whole contingent of investors that believe that uh, uh, Ben Bernanke is prolonging the potential quantitative easing uh, that he's possibly going to have to implement by default to you know, hedge off any kind of stagnation to economic growth or or retraction to economic growth here in America. And unfortunately, uh, the reason he was a little tentative is because if you heard in his speech, he was basically passing the ball off on Congress and the public officials that are supposed to be representing the people, uh, basically stating that uh, the whole debate about the debt ceiling was completely economically irresponsible. Uh, that, uh, you know, these policymakers need to start, uh, you know, getting with it as it relates to being fiscally responsible so that we can get uh, the American economy back going again. And uh, in my personal opinion, uh, Ben Bernanke in the speech, he alluded that the Federal Reserve is going to get together for a meeting, their annual meeting this September. He alluded that that, which is usually a day meeting, it's just they meet one day, 
They're actually going to meet two days. He said in the speech that he's going to extend the meeting two days to, quote-unquote, debate about any potential economic instruments that need or possibly need to be used at that given time to stimulate the economy. Now, once uh, Ben Bernanke alluded to this in the latter part of his speech, that's when you saw the stock market just completely do a 180, a complete turnaround. That's why I said, folks, if you look back in the archive, I didn't even just say this in the archive. I tweeted this. I said that I don't know what's going to happen if Ben Bernanke doesn't you know, implement QE3 today. Uh, as you saw, the helter-skelter market implemented itself at the beginning. It just started you know, tanking 200 points. It was down 200 points, Dow Jones Industrials. Uh, then as Ben Bernanke started alluding more and more in his speech that it could possibly implement it, be, excuse me, be implemented in the, uh, uh, the annual Federal Reserve meeting in September, that meeting is going to be extended. So I don't know. Of course, you got a lot of people, of the market bulls, buying into this, and this is why we closed up on the upside. That's why I didn't make any prognostications on what was going to happen after Ben Bernanke uh, did not implement a quantitative easing phase on this very day. That's why I didn't make any prognostications. As you can see on uh, the last broadcast, as you can see on the damn Twitter account, I, I said, I don't know what's going to happen, you know, because – this investment community is so pussy-whipped and emotionally impulsive, and they actually alluded to that today on many of the business channels that, uh, you know, these investors, uh, you know, need, need to get a grip on things. But th this, you know, investment community is so pussy-whipped, I had no idea how they would react uh, if qu quantitative easing three was not implemented uh, by Ben Bernanke and the Federal Reserve. Uh, so this is why we had a helter-skelter day on the market. So before I get into anything else, if you were a day trader, uh, this was your day to make some serious goddamn money. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it seems to me that the volatility benefits the day traders. And, of course, thanks to our government who is regulating the marketplace, the only people that can participate in day trading legally are those that have a brokerage account that uh, has about 50000 in capital in there or 25000 on margin. Yeah, uh, thanks to our government, the United States government, that's the only way that you can participate in day trading. And I know there's a lot of individuals that don't understand what the hell day trading is. They're like, well, what do you keep talking about? You keep saying that you're making money in day trading. Well, why don't you pull up a chart of the Dow Jones Industrials or the NASDAQ, which is a good winner today, or the S&P, whichever uh, market that you want to look at. Take a look at the day chart. Take a look at how it just started off at the at the complete bottom in the morning, you know, and, and then all of a sudden it just took off there at midday and it kept taking off all the way until the end. It kind of uh, petered out there at the last hour, but it still uh, pulled off on the plus side. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. Wouldn't you like to be able to participate in purchasing stocks in that morning at any point in time during that uh, – roller coaster ride of volatility. Wouldn't you like to purchase some stocks on the low there? Hold them for about, uh, who the hell knows? I mean, I, there is no uh, right amount of time to hold a stock when it comes to day trading. That's why I guess the, uh, uh, the government decided to implement this law about the only people that can actually day trade are those, I guess, that are, uh, I don't know, have assets uh, to a company such a risky investment, I guess. I have no idea. Uh, but, you know, typically what you would want to do is if you see in the morning, this morning, uh, I mean, I was doing day trading all morning. In the morning, you see some of these blue chips tumble. You see a lot of the, you know, retraction of the investment community being emotionally impulsive because Ben Bernanke didn't implement QE3. Well, then you grab some of these stocks when everybody's selling off. Now, you don't know whether or not you're going to hold them for the rest of the day. You don't know whether you're going to hold them for five, ten minutes. You don't know because it's up to you based upon your speculation and how much you're willing to take once you sell off the stock at whatever given price. You know, do you understand what I'm saying? That's day trading. It's, it's trading based upon the pattern of the chart. And you see, there's a lot of money to be made in day trading. I kid you not, folks, depending on the amount of capital, of course. I mean, with $50,000, if you could just, I mean, literally, in today's volatile, you know, just complete volatile market, 
uh, you can just ride some of these stocks with about 20, 30, 40 cent swings throughout the day and literally make about, jeez, uh, five, uh, a thousand, maybe, maybe, maybe 1,500. Very, I mean, and that's if you don't know what the hell you're doing. That's if you're just kind of riding the swings of a lot of these volatile stocks, for Christ's sake. But, you know, the only people that can participate in this, once again, thanks to our governments, are those that have 50000 in their brokerage account or 25000 on margin. Yes, we can, Obama. You know, don't you think that's sad? I mean, that's sad. I mean, don't you think that somebody who has 10000 5000 3000 a thousand. Don't you think that they should be able to participate in pattern trading and be able to make, uh, you know, whatever whatever beans they're able to scrape up after pattern trading on such a little amount of money? It doesn't matter. Some of these people could be out of work. You know, some of these people could need a supplemented income of uh, one of their spouses that were laid off, for Christ's sake. But no, we can't do it because, oh, yes, we can decided that he is going to separate pattern traders or day traders from everybody else. It's just disgraceful. It's disgusting. And you need to write your local congressman. And I, I urge all capitalists, write your congressman and your senator and tell them to lift this disgusting, ridiculous law about uh, you know a prerequisite of participating in pattern trading, uh, having 50000 in your brokerage account. It's ridiculous. Take it out of there. I mean, just look at the chart of any freaking stock, for Christ's sake. Just look at it for yourself. And just imagine, had you just been looking at that, had, had you just had a, a brokerage account somewhere, they give you tools so where you can actually see real time, you know, every single trade that's, you know, taking place, you know. Uh, I mean, you, you can actually see the chart moving in real time, for Christ's sake. I mean, wouldn't you want to purchase some of that on the low? Hold on to it for however long, uh, 30 minutes, an hour, until the end of the day. Whenever you think that the peak of the profit is, you sell off. You make serious capital. And you do enough of that all day, I kid you not, the liquid that you're able to accumulate after all those little trades, you take that liquid from day trading and you parlay that into long-term investments, baby. Do you understand that? I know there's a lot of day traders that take the liquid and they want to, you know, I guess reestablish more capital in their day trading opportunities. No. When you have a day trading account and it's basically strictly geared towards that, take the liquidity from that and put it into long-term investments. I kid you not. And particularly particularly long-term investments that possibly have high-end yield dividends or long-term investments that are on the complete low, for Christ's sake. I mean, there's enough liquidity to be made in day trading to be doing this. Anyway, let me uh, let me get to the markets here because we did close out on the plus side. I personally closed out on the plus side today, not only in the day trading end, but the long-term investments that I'm holding from the bottom feeding that I was doing two weeks ago. I mean, I'm just making serious money. <laughs> I mean, it's Baller Friday, baby. I'm feeling good. <laughs> I'm feeling good here. <laughs> Anyway, let me go ahead and take a let me let me get, let me get some beer. I actually got some beer for the occasion, and um, uh, once again, I, I know there's a lot of people who give me a lot of crap about uh, me drinking uh, Miller High Life. Uh, a lot of people say, "Oh, ghost, it tastes like Kentucky Fried Chicken piss," and how the hell are you drinking that? Uh, you have to understand, folks. You know, uh, w there's not much things in life outside material that uh, y you can kind of hold on to for an emotional, uh, stable view upon this existence. And uh, when I look upon my childhood and when I look upon my youth, I think of very good memories, uh, a good existence, a perception at that particular time that uh, was like none other. A very innocent perception. I know there's a lot of children out here that listen to me that they're they've been robbed that inner that innocent perception. They've been robbed that uh, Christmas story type of family interaction. Uh, you know what, what I'm making about the Christmas story. I'm talking about the movie, the Christmas story. Anyway, to make the long story short, whenever I have a Miller High Life, I mean it's one of those signatures you know the, the taste of it is like a mental signature in my brain that brings me back to like a nostalgic uh time in my life when um when things were a lot more simpler as far as i'm concerned i mean i i don't know where the hell we're going now at this point in time we, we're, we're just 
I mean, we, we're just going loco at this point in time. I mean, you know, we, we got goddamn earthquakes rocking the East Coast, for Christ's sake. Anyway, let me go ahead and open up a beer here, and I want to go ahead and get through the markets. After I get through the markets, folks, I want to hear from you. I want to take your calls. Let me go ahead and open up this beer here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get through the markets here because it was a decent day. It wasn't as good as it would have been had uh, QE3 been implemented. But once again, I mean, the side effect of QE3, folks, is the uh, debasing of the currency, uh, which is something that we have also talked about many times on this broadcast. I mean, uh, QE3 is just an economic fancy word of saying, we're going to print more money. So uh, as a result, you have hyperinflation as a result of that. So there's a lot of negative side effects. But at the same time, if you're in the stock market or if you have uh, interest in certain commodities, uh, you basically cash out fairly well. I mean, let's be perfectly honest. If uh, QE3 had been implemented today and you had a good interest in a lot of the bottom-feeding uh, uh, stock opportunities that we had in the last couple of weeks, uh, you would have made some serious, serious money. You know, I mean, seriously, you would have made some serious money. Not to say that today's gains were chump change, uh, but I, like I said, I mean, you know, Dow Jones Industrials today closes out at one. 34.72 on the plus side, all right? Uh, now, I speculated that if QE3 had been implemented, we would have seen 600 plus. Now, just showing this closing on today's uh, market, uh, you would have seen that the effect of not implementing quantitative easing 3 was not as negative as one of the or as most of the investors anticipated there early in the morning. Excuse me, folks. I'm stumbling over my own tongue here, for Christ's sake. Got a couple of ass clowns sitting here in the chat room talking garbage. Screw you, idiots, all right? I'm talking to the capitalists here. I'm talking to the capitalists. I'm not talking to you idiots. They're like, um, I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, just, uh, what, uh, the point I'm trying to make here, let me not get distracted. Let me look away. Take take, take that screen off, engineer. <laughs> what I'm saying is, is the Dow Jones Industrials is up 134.72 points today. Just imagine had quantitative easing three been implemented. I said 600 plus just based upon today's closing. It could have been a hell of a lot more than that. So anyway, let me just get through the damn markets. These idiots are sitting here flapping their fat Dorito-stained, pretzel-stained fingers on the keyboard, uh, thinking that they're accomplishing something. Hopefully the capitalists that are out there are understanding what I'm saying. There's a helter-skelter market out here, uh, but once again, you know, you just got to roll with the punches. I mean, it, 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 we are at the whim of this pussy-whipped investment community, for Christ's sake. So, But once I've, like I've always said, long-term investment reigns supreme. Always remember that. I always believe that as long as your equity that you hold in your portfolio has good fundamentals, uh, has a good demand potential, and has a good profitability potential, or at least proven profitability, uh, profitability potential, well, then by God, hold on to it. It's just going to go up and up and up. Long-term investment reigns supreme, baby. Always remember that. That's what made Warren Buffett a billionaire. Can you believe that? Warren Buffett did nothing else in life than trade a couple of stocks. Well, not a couple, but he traded many stocks. But he traded stocks, and uh, this guy is the uh, second richest man in the world. He was, uh, well, I think he's third or fourth now, but but he, you know, he's one of the top five now. I mean, you know, they're always uh, changing places. You got that one uh, Mexican from Mexico that's the richest man in the world now. What is his name? Julio Slim? Julio Slim is the richest man in the world, believe it or not. Some uh, uh, some Mexican out of Mexico that owns the, it has a monopoly over the telecommunications industry out there in Mexico, extending into Central America and into South America, for Christ's sake. So Julio Slim. Uh, anyway, folks, let's continue going. We got Dow Jones Industrials up one thirty four point seventy two, a percentage increase of one point twenty one percent. Closing out the day at 11,284.50 points, 
S&P 500 on the plus side, 17.53 points, a percentage increase of 1.51%, closing out today at 1,176.80 points for the S&P. The NASDAQ, all right, the NASDAQ, uh, 2,479.85 points. Uh, It closes out today. That was an increase of 60.22 points, a percentage increase for the NASDAQ, of 2.49% for Christ's sake. So, you know, let me tell you something. All right, let me tell you something. Major gains today in the equities markets. Uh, I was kind of afraid that there at the end we may have seen uh, some kind of a sell-off, given the fact that uh, we do have that hurricane coming into the East Coast that's, you know, obviously going to cause some major damage, you know. And, uh, you know, uh, a I don't know. I'm not making any speculations on the potential damage. I did make a prognostication on the last show that uh, it was going to be serious, and all these idiots that are here in the chat room now, they're flapping their fat sausages of the fingers on the keyboards. We're saying, oh, it's not going to be that big of a deal, ghost. It's not going to be that big of a deal. And shove it up your ass. Look at it now. It's going to cause devastation. People are running scared out there. There's mandatory evacuations. And you're sitting over here, I was going to be a big deal, go sit, just sit, and shut up. Just sit there and shut your stinking smelly holes. Anyway, I thought we were going to see a, a last-minute sell-off because of that particular hurricane coming in. I think that it, I don't know, I'm glad it didn't spook the investors. Uh, we closed up on the plus side, but... Uh, as this hurricane hits, I'd watch out for any insurance stocks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Any insurance stocks that you may be holding, uh, because you know they're going to be hit up. Uh, any uh, stocks that uh, have any headquarters in this particular region. If you have uh, an equity that has a headquarters in this particular region, uh, I'd be looking out for this. Uh, another play that I'd be eyeballing in this uh, hurricane situation is oil. Now, I know oil today was roller coaster. It closed up uh, modestly on the plus side, but I would pay close attention to oil uh, because, first and foremost, uh, there's a lot of oil refineries out here in the East Coast, and they're going to get destroyed, damaged, to say the least, uh, in this hurricane situation. And in my personal opinion, I think that there could be some good plays to be made as it relates to crude oil and gasoline futures, to say the least. So, I mean, I think there could be a a, a play to be made there. Moreover, uh, there's going to be a lot of people without electricity. Uh, A lot of people have generators. A lot of generators use uh, gasoline and, uh, you know, other uh, such uh, oil-like fuel-based sources. So in my personal opinion, I'm just saying if you want to think about possible plays as it relates to this particular hurricane, uh, there's some possible uh, scenarios for you. Moreover, uh, I made some plays today early in the uh, day's trading on uh, some of these hardware stores. Uh, You know people are already uh, getting ready for the storm, so you know plywood is up, hammers are up, uh, you know nails are up. Uh, you know, you know. I mean, just you just think about it. Just imagine. And then when you have this uh, unfortunate uh, act of God out here in the East Coast and have uh, you know just a whole bunch of devastation. I mean, who do you, who do you think they're going to go for uh, to get supplies? You know, they're going to go to the hardware stores. They're going to go lumber people. You know, they're going to go to the people that hold the uh, uh, the products uh, in their possession for Christ's sake. So uh, you know, I'm just. I'm just giving you a heads up on potential plays, all right? If you want to take them or you want to entertain them, you want to, uh, you know, put them into your insight, that's fine. Uh, but let me tell you, if you don't and you just want to sit there and play the Peter Popper and you want to be like these jerk dicks in here saying, I'm boring, man. You know what? You're bored here. I'll tell you what. Be even more bored. I'm turning off the chat. How you like that, huh? How you like that? How do you like that? You can just sit there in the chat room and play with your beer popper, for Christ's sake, and not say nothing. How do you like that? As a matter of fact, why don't you listen to me and take a swig of my beer, for Christ's sake? Uh. 
Anyway, as I was saying, as these idiots were sitting here, uh, you know, pissing me off with their little comments in the chat room. Now look at them, huh? Now they're like Helen Keller, huh? Uh, now they're trying to, you know, do Morris code to me on goddamn Twitter or something, huh? Yeah, get your ass. Get out of here. Now, as I was saying to the capitalists out here, once again, these are plays that need to be made, all right? These are plays that need to be made, and in my personal opinion, if I were you, I would start entertaining these opportunities, all right? And I think that uh, a lot of that fueled uh, a lot of the market's rally today. But let's get through the commodities, shall we? All right, let me go ahead and lift the uh, let me go ahead and lift the chat uh, shut off. I look at the, look at them. I, I can just imagine them right now. These jerk dicks that live for the chat room. Look at they're like, oh, that asshole took my power. He took away my power, and I hate that bastard. I love the chat room, and I can't do it. I feel so stupid. I feel so insignificant. Oh my god. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll put the chat room back on, uh, but, you know, maybe temporary, maybe not. I have no idea. I have no idea. And let me tell you something. If, if I turn off the chat room again, I'm only selecting a few people. To, I, I'm all, You know who I'm letting the chat? The only, the only people I'm going to let chat the next time I turn off this chat room are those that belong to the capitalist army. You piece of crap. Give me my drink. Give me my drink, for Christ's sake. Ah. All right. Hey, engineer, go ahead and turn it back on, for Christ's sake. Turn the chat room back on for these milky liquors. All right. We're back now. Now, um, let me get through the commodities here, all right? We got Brent crude, all right? Brent crude is up modestly, 47 cents today, a percentage increase of 0.42%. That's an increase of $111.09. Gasoline futures are modestly up, but uh, I would anticipate if there's some major damage out there on the East Coast that these prices here in the energy sector are going to spike. That's just my prognostication. I don't know. I'm never wrong. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. Uh, anyway, gasoline futures are up eight bucks. Uh, that's a percentage increase of uh, 0.85%. We got heating oil futures up a dollar seven. Uh, that's a percentage increase of 0.36%. Natural gas up very modestly. It's only up two cents. A percentage increase of 0.74%. WTI sweet crude up very modestly. It is up 16 cents today, a percentage increase of 0.19%, closing out WTI sweet crude at $85.46 per barrel of WTI sweet crude. Once again, folks, I'm telling you right now, if we do have major devastation out there in the East Coast, watch those prices. All right, watch those goddamn prices because they're going to go up. And if you don't want to, if you don't want to capitalize on it, well then that's your problem, baby. All right. <laughs> I mean, don't be don't be crying. You know, there's a lot of people that uh, uh, that sit here and talk a lot of garbage to me on uh, the Twitter. They, they talk a lot of garbage to me on the uh, on the email. That, that's not fair. You're sitting there like a capitalist. You're making all this money, and, and you're making money off the the working person. You're making money off the working person. What are you talking about? I'm making money out of my my, my own prognostications. Do you understand that, you milky liquor? Huh? I'm making money out of my own prognostications over here. Don't you understand that? I'm the prognosticator of prognosticators, for Christ's sake, all right? I'm making capital. That's what I do. I'm making money. That's what I do, for Christ's sake. All right? I know people's feelings get hurt. I know people's feelings get hurt because, oh, it's not fair. I mean, all I get to do is just call up Ghost and, and try to play some stupid, dumbass little recording and try to give my fat jelly ass life some kind of significance but uh, uh I, I, I it's not fair that, that I can't drink all day and I can't you know, just 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 take trips and and I can just do what I want I can't do what I want I, all I got to do is wait for my EBT card so I can get my value great dinners and that's all I can do I yeah shut up 
Anyway, here let me let me let me go ahead and uh, continue going, shall we? We got agriculture. It's up. Uh, canola five dollars and sixty cents on the plus side. It's up a percent. Cocoa is up forty eight dollars. That's a percentage increase of one point five nine percent. Coffee for all you assholes that make a goddamn excuse being jerk dicks in the morning. Uh, dude, don't don't talk to me. I just haven't had my coffee, dude. Don't talk to me, dude. I haven't had my coffee, dude. Yeah, yeah, shove it up your ass, all right? Stop being a jerk. Anyway, coffee is up, all right? It is up majorly, $3.70. That's a percentage increase of 1.34%. That's a major trend, folks. We've been talking about a percent increase, uh, as, I, as I recollect, every day uh, that we've been on the broadcast. So uh, that's going to translate into the price of uh, all your little lattes out there at Starbucks, huh? Straight up, I got a little Starbucks lattes for crazy. Oh yes, I want a latte. Even, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna talk like this, even though I'm not even from London. I just, I just think that yeah, I'm, t- I'm talking like this makes me smarter. Yes, That's, it makes me sound like I'm, you know, know what I'm talking about. They got a latte here. I'll get a latte and everything will be okay. You know? Stupid. Dumbass Starbucks jerk asses. Let me tell you something. I think you you people that that buy all that nine dollars Starbucks coffee, you people are idiots. All right. I understand. Hey, you know, uh, I, every once in a while, but you idiots that are making that a part of your day. That's nine dollars every coffee. You, you you get one every day. You times that by five or seven, depending on every what every day is to you. You times that by you know four. Uh, I mean, it just it just gets expensive. It just gets very expensive, and you know you could be putting that money somewhere else that could be making you more money. For Christ's sake, that's all I'm saying. All right, that's all I'm that's all I'm saying, baby. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, we got corn up. Ah, Jesus Christ, corn. Corn's up twenty three dollars and fifty cents. That's a percentage increase of three point one six percent on the day. I mean, good God, Jesus Christ. You know. I mean, I just, I'm sick of hearing corn going on the plus side. I mean, I guess I could just forget about the days of nine ears of corn for a dollar. I guess that's just, we just got to eat it, right? I mean, luckily I can afford this crap, but what about the Mexicans, you know, that have to, you know, make their tortillas and the burritos and stuff, you know? I mean, I feel sorry for these people. I feel sorry for, uh... Uh, you know, everybody else that needs corn, you know? I, I feel sorry for those shit-kicking hicks out there in Kentucky that use the leftover corn cobs for, for pipes, for their tobacco, you know? I'm just saying. And not to mention that, you know, I miss, you know, grilling those goddamn corns. Nine ears of corn for a dollar. Just throw them on the damn grill, you know? Just throw them on the goddamn grill, no big deal, and leave the husks on them. And and you know, for all you assholes uh, that barbecue, let me let me tell you something. All right, you're not supposed to burn the crap that you barbecue. I, I hate people that they see the flame going up into the grill and they're like, okay, it's ready, and they throw whatever meat, whatever whatever food on an open fire. You're not supposed to throw meat. You're not supposed to throw crap on an open fire, you asshole. All right, you're supposed to make the fire so that it can, uh, you know, actually make uh, some coals and some embers in the grill. Moreover, it'll actually kill off anything that happened, any parasites or any crap that happens to be on the grill. It heats up the grill to a to a temperature to where when you throw whatever meat, whatever goddamn uh, uh, food that you put on there, it's going to sizzle. It's it's going to sear. It's going to be great for Christ's sake. All right. Don't ever throw your food on an open flame. And, you, you know, you know that's why I don't like barbecue uh, from anybody else. I don't like barbecue from anybody else besides myself because everybody else's barbecue is burnt crap. It's burnt crap. That's not what barbecue is supposed to taste like, you stupid scumbags. It's supposed to taste like the flavor of... The charcoal, the smoke of the mesquite uh, wood that you put in there, or if you're using oak or uh, apple wood or hickory. I'm not a big fan of hickory, you know. I'm not a big fan of hickory, but I, I mean, mesquite and oak, apple wood, good stuff, man. Good goddamn stuff, no BS. Anyway, uh, corn is up $23, once again, up 3.16%. 
We got cotton up one dollar thirty three cents. That's a percentage increase of one point two nine percent on the day. Wheat futures are up nine dollars and twenty five cents. That's a percentage increase of one point one seven percent on the day. Sugar is up fifty six cents, uh, and, and I was expecting some kind of uh, spike from sugar. It's been selling off recently. It is up. 1.89% on the day for sugar. Soybean, for some reason, uh, is going up. I'm assuming that everybody's just going to go eat soybean burgers because they're not going to have any money in their pockets to go out and eat anything that's actual beef. I don't know where this place I'm – I'm just joking, of course, but I don't know where this place is coming from, but soybean is up. Get this, $30.75 today. That's a percentage increase of 2.21% on the day. All right, lumber, man, it continues to see its spike. And, of course, the reason is today is because, well, we're having a hurricane out there on the East Coast. So speculators, of course, are saying lumber is going to be in demand. Scarcity of lumber is going to be about, and it's going to be afoot. So as a result, the price of it is going to increase. So that's where you're seeing the spike in lumber for the past couple of weeks. And today is no different. It is up today, $7.90 a percentage increase of 3.41% on the day for lumber futures. Uh, that's some serious gains right there. We got oat up $10. That's a percentage increase of 2.65%. We got uh, soybean oil futures up $1.19. That's a percentage increase of 2.12%. And it seems like the bull nose, bull dykes, uh, they kind of came out uh, for happy hour, but you know, didn't really like sticking around because uh, the wool futures are up very, very modestly at $2, a measly percentage increase of 0.15%. So it looks like Rosie O'Donnell didn't seem like she wanted to dive on some carpet today. I don't know. I'm just saying I don't know. Anyway, let's get to the metals, shall we? Metals! Let's get to the metals! Now, Let's take a look at the metals prices because this should go to show everybody that's invested in this market how helter-skelter and pussy-whipped our investment community is in today's market, all right? Um, it makes no sense why metals would be up at this point in time. On the contrary, uh, the whole pump and dump behind the idea of metals being uh, you know, such an expensive commodity is the fact that the Federal Reserve is going to continue to print money or to continue to implement quantitative easing phases. Uh, well, he didn't implement it today. So I, I don't understand where this gold pop is coming from. I mean, it just it doesn't make any sense. Everything was up today. It makes no sense. All right. The dollar even increased today. If you take a look at the dollar on the currency markets, if you trade that financial instrument, all right, cash is actually worth more today because, uh, uh, because you know, Ben Bernanke didn't print more money, all right? Now you've got gold up to what we're, I mean, you know, it's just complete pump and dump out here. It's complete pump and dump, helter-skelter market, a ridiculous investment community that's completely emotionally impulsive and doesn't know where to put their capital, all right? So uh, before I read these metals prices, I want to tell you that uh, I have no idea why they're up today. I have no idea, but let's let's see why. All right, we got we got copper up. I can see why there's a industrial component to copper, so we understand the modest increase there, two bucks, a percentage increase of 0.49 percent. Now gold today was up sixty seven dollars. All right. That's a percentage increase of 3.80% on the day. 3.80% on the day. I mean, that increase makes it seem like it was, like, I don't know, like there, there is a quantitative easing or something to that effect. I mean, there is no purpose for this increase at this point in time. You know, no, no, no purpose for this increase at this point in time. I, I have no idea what's going on here. None. But uh, for all the people that are holding on to gold, man, I mean, ride the bubble. Like I said, man, ride it. Ride that bubble, baby. You know, it's just ride the bubble is, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, anyway, it closes out today at $1,830.20 per troy ounce of gold. Uh, silver saw a minor pop. Well, I should say a little bit more than a minor pop. It was a 
1.51% increase on the day, increasing 61 cents, uh, closing out today at $41.41 per troy ounce of silver. Let's get to livestock, shall we? We got live cattle feature, uh, live cattle futures, excuse me, up a dollar ten, a percentage increase of 0.96 percent. We've got cattle feeder futures up one dollar and seven cents. And for all you fat jelly ass bastards, you tubberlard jerk dicks with the goddamn fat celluloid dripping off the penis type of garbage that like a couple of hambo. Down your gullet every now and then. Well, I guess there's some good news for you today because lean hog futures are down 12 cents. That's a percentage decrease of 0.14%. And that, my friends, is the markets for your ass. <laughs> Woo! Anyway, folks, I want to thank everybody for tuning in with me here. This is a Baller Friday edition. I'm drinking beer here this evening. I want to say cheers to all the true capitalists that are out there. And if you're in the East Coast and you're bunkering down, you're out there, you're going to suffer the, the brunt end of the storm, my heart and prayers go out to the capitalists that are out there in, in harm's way in this storm. I mean, my thoughts and prayers are with you. So cheers to everybody out there, and cheers to everybody who's listening to me. Throughout the world. Let me go ahead and take a chug of this beer here. Ah. Uh, before I give some shout outs, I, I do want to say that I'm anticipating that Ben Bernanke is going to have to do something in September. And this is another thing that fueled the market's uh, rally today is the anticipation based upon the speech's language. Uh, uh, that was delivered by Ben Bernanke. So once again, uh, just because Ben Bernanke said that he's seeing modest growth in the uh, America's economy, I, I don't think that you know we're just done with quantitative easing just yet. All right, he did pass the ball on Congress. He did pass the ball to the politicians, and let's see if the politicians heed it. You know, uh, uh, there was a lot of talk out here that Rick Perry, you know, old Governor Rick Perry made a bitched out uh, Ben Bernanke, and that's why Ben Bernanke didn't want to come out today and say, hey, quantitative easing three, uh, because possibly Ben Bernanke may be a little scared of Rick Perry, to say the least. And I don't blame him, you know. I mean, I don't blame him. I mean, us Texans, you know, we're badasses out here, you understand? I mean, us Texans that were born and raised out here, we don't take no BS from anybody. And I'm sure Ben Bernanke, you know, coming from Augusta, Georgia, uh, you know, probably, you know, an economics nerd his whole damn life, for Christ's sake, uh, you know, just can't comprehend the amount of manly dominance that encompasses a real Texan. And, uh, you know, once uh, Rick Perry started, you know, kind of shooting from the hip, I personally thought, I think that a lot of what Rick Perry said was, uh, off keister, if you want my personal opinion. But you know, look at what look at what he did to Ben Bernanke. Huh? Look at what he did to Ben Bernanke. I mean, he caved in for Christ's sake. He caved in. And why is he extending the annual Federal Reserve meeting in September for another day? Is because he wants to hear what the hell they got to say. You know, and he's like, look, all I can do is just uh, implement another phase of quantitative easing out here. I passed the ball to these ridiculous scumbag politicians. They're sitting over here making me look like the boogeyman. All right, I can't implement another quantitative easing three. You got one asshole over here saying that he'll he, he thinks I'm treasonous for for implementing it. So what do you uh, idiot federal reserve federal reserve governors think I should do? What do you think I should do? And uh, let me tell you something. They're going to pull off all stops uh, to see if they can somehow maneuver some kind of money mechanics. Uh, in an attempt to hedge off what should be, folks, and I'm telling you right now, we should be in a goddamn depression. And uh, the only thing that isn't uh, allowing us to go into a depression is the attempts by the Federal Reserve uh, to uh, fuel uh, money markets, you know, in hopes of uh, stimulating economic growth. But what's stagnating economic growth is our goddamn government, because on top of our government spending continuous amounts of capital on entitlements, and this is taxpayer money, on top of all that, 
I mean, you, you got this government implementing regulations that stagnate economic growth. Don't people understand this, that when you allow government to implement regulations, you stagnate uh, growth, business growth, economic growth. You stagnate it, for Christ's sake. So anyway, let me go ahead and uh, take a swig of this here. Let me go ahead and take a swig of this. Ah. Pretty good stuff here. Anyway, uh, let me give some uh, chat shout-outs. Uh, let me see. Uh, do we got anybody to – no, not, not chat shout-outs. Screw the chat shout-outs. You guys are being jerk dicks today. Uh, Twitter shout-outs. Do we got any Twitter shout-outs there, Engineer? All right, folks, I'm going to give some Twitter shout-outs. And if you don't know, what you do is retweet the first tweet on my Twitter account. All right? And, of course, if you don't know the Twitter account yet, by God, go ahead and follow me now. Uh, Ghost Politics is the name. No underscores, all right? All one word, no underscores. Ghost Politics. All right, hit me up with a goddamn uh, couple of tweets. You know, let me know what's going on with you. And, uh, moreover, if you want a shout-out right now, retweet the first tweet on that Twitter account. So let's go ahead and do it, shall we? All right, who we got here? We got Ryan Eddings. What's going on? We got uh, Poop Wiggler. Uh, I'm not going to say that. Uh, I take LSD. No, I don't, you idiot. Uh, Cosmo CB. Uh, no, I'm not going to say that, you sick, twisted bastard. We got Anonymous. What's up? Anonymous Plumo. What's up? Alex Jones for press. Hey, shut up! You damn Alex Jones worshippers, man. You need to grow up. You know what I'm saying? You need to grow up already. I mean, haven't you learned from the last batch of young people that have become disenchanted by that blowhard already? Haven't you noticed that uh, every one of his films, he always has to—he always has a group of young people that just seem to not get any older? Huh? That's because he has to continuously have more young people that are willing to buy his BS for that much more period of time so he can show to other young people that he's credible, for Christ's sake. I know what you're doing, Alex. Don't give me that crap. Anyway, who else do we got? We got Capitalist Chris. What's going on? I want to say what's up to Gasgara. What's going on, Gasgara? We got Curtis Leonard. What's up? Uh, who else we got? We got Slapping My Uterus. Ah, oh, you sick son of a bitch. Uh, we got Pony Poop Tickler. Uh, well, I'm not going to say that, asshole. We got Ghost Number One Fan. And yeah, uh, you're my number one fan, and you got a freaking pony on your goddamn avatar. Yeah, right. Uh, who else do we got? We got Centinius. What's going on, man? Who else do we have? Do we got any more? We got a couple more here, and then we're going to move on with the broadcast. Uh, who else do we got? Uh, we've got Trollesta Molesta. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, we got Hando Bland. We got Brony News. Uh, Poop Tickler Jr. Uh, we got Poop Pickler Tickle. Uh, Navy Husky. All right, that's enough. These, and I already see the rest of them. They're all sick, perverted names. I'm not going to sit there and say this. I'm not going to sit there and say that anyway. I'm, I'm, let me go ahead and take a swig of this crap. Ugh, let me chug the rest of this beer. Here. Ah. Anyway, sorry, folks. Uh, as you can see on the agenda, I really don't have much to talk about here. So I'm just going to go off the head, you know, for the next three hours and uh, take some calls and try some new things. Because let me tell you something. I am so exhausted from day trading today, man. I mean, I made so much liquid in day trading. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I was up and down. I mean, I was – I mean, I, I looked like a boiler room operation, baby. I was like, all right, we're going here. We're going right here. We're going to go there. So uh, we're just going to go off the head here. We're, we're, uh, I really don't have anything to talk about. We know about Hurricane Irene. Uh, once again, my thoughts and prayers go out to the capitalists that were not able to leave or did not want to leave. Please keep yourself safe. Uh, I guarantee you if, there was, if there's any kind of major damage in any of the major cities out there, be in expecting a ruckus uh, by some of the so-called Poe in America. 
uh, be expecting looting and pillaging. And uh, in my personal opinion, I feel I feel bad for the capitalists, you know. All right. When somebody's asking, do you care about the other people that are out there? No, I don't. Uh, I care about the capitalists that are out there that are that, that that are the vokes of society, the individuals that contribute to the tax system, the individuals that are actually making a contribution to society. That, that's who I care about. Do you understand? Uh, I don't know what you people are asking here in the chat room. They're asking me, well, what about the other people? Go, well, what other people? I care about the capitalists. Do you understand that? I care about the capitalists, the individuals that work for themselves, that go out there and contribute to society, for Christ's sake. That's who I care about. That's who I'll stand in the front lines with, for Christ's sake. Not these despicable, disgusting scumbags that call themselves the so-called Poe in America when they're out here getting fed on the American taxpaying dime and not only getting fat in the ass, but now they're rubbing in the faces of capitalists. I don't know if you folks have been aware of some of the tweets that I've been tweeting out by some of these uh, disgusting, entitlement-ridden wastes of human life out here. Uh, these uh, disgusting, despicable human beings actually have the audacity just to go out and actually rub it in the faces of capitalists that are getting their stupid little EBT cards. And for you folks that, well, I'm sure half of you idiots that are sure you know what EBT is, you're probably living on it, you fat bastards. Um, but this this EBT card, all right, this EBT card, uh, it's called an electric benefit transfer card, all right? You know what I mean? It's an electric benefit transfer card where all the uh, entitlement folks get their, you know, little entitlements delivered to. They get they get it delivered to them on a, a little card. Well, folks, if you haven't read my Twitter, by God, go about, let me see, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, go about six twi- tweets down there, August 25th where I write, I'm so disgusted by this vid, the capitalist army has officially declared war against people like this. And if you haven't uh, seen it, well, by God, go to my Twitter account and go down about 6th to about August 25th and uh, take a look at it for yourself. These disgusting, despicable scumbags are rubbing it in the faces of capitalists throughout uh, America out here. And as far as I'm concerned, uh, if you're a capitalist, if you're somebody that works hard for your, your money, if you're somebody that's working that actually has to service these disgusting, despicable scumbags, then you are who I'm talking to. We have to declare war against these disgusting, ridiculous, pathetic wastes of human life. And what do I mean by that? I'm talking about us as capitalists starting to implement our authority. Do you understand? We need to implement our authority by not only implementing a new system of government that, uh, well, not necessarily a new system of government, but to implement term limits on this government at this point in time. Because I think that what's stagnating human progress and what's stagnating the human experiment here in America is this government. We need strict term limits. We don't need these government officials to be in office 40 freaking years, 50 years, 60 years. We don't need these scumbags in office that long. No one should be able to make a career out of public service. No one. And I know there's people out here saying, oh, it's not fair. Well, it's perfectly fair. No one should be able to make a career out of public service. And on top of term limits for the politicians, us capitalists have to implement a whole new voter electorate system, a system where the general American populace don't have the right to go out and vote for whoever has nice teeth or whoever they want to have a beer with and so on and so forth. No, 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 no. You know who should have the exclusive right to participate in the political process? The individuals that actually contribute 
to the mechanism of government. The individuals that actually contribute to the construction and the continuity of civilization. I'm talking about the capitalists. I'm talking about the individuals that contribute to the tax system. I'm talking about the ones that are working hard while these disgusting, despicable serfs are sitting here collecting our tax dollars and rubbing it in our faces. I'm talking to you, capitalists. And there's no race in capitalism. There's no culture. There's no religion. There's no. There's none of these ridiculous primitive ideas that one needs to embrace to be a capitalist. All you have to understand is that you get what you put in. You get what you put in. And I know there's a lot of folks out there that want to go to the dark side. Believe me, it's easy to go to the dark side at this point in time. It seems the more loser you are, the more money you can collect from this government. But I plead with you to not submit. Do not submit to the sloth to the laziness, to the lack of pride, the lack of integrity, the bowels of society. I plead with you, don't do it. Don't cross over, for Christ's sake, because we need individuals like you to sustain the continuity of civilization. Because without individuals like yourself, these disgusting mutants, these ridiculous primitive souls would overwhelm the population of this world and would completely cripple civilization itself. And that's why I call on every capitalist out there who's listening to the sound of my voice, this is a serious call. We can no longer allow these liberals and these idiot propagandists who utilize misdirected empathy in order to extort political favors and what political favor are they extorting out of you to say, oh, we should go out and we should help everybody. We should go out and we should help everybody get fed and we should help everybody get clothed and housed and, and everything. Like we get, we got to do it. And once again, it goes against the laws of this realm, idiots. To make this assumption that we have to save every pathetic soul that shitted out of the uterus of some whore that, you know, hopped on some pogo stick of somebody that looks good in a leather jacket is pathetic. It's ridiculous. It goes against the fabric of nature, for Christ's sake. And if you take a look at any living organism on this realm, if you take a look at any living organism on this planet, every living organism has to kill and eat another organism to sustain itself, to survive. And for these idiots to sit here and continue to extort the empathy of misguided people, has to come to an end, and it has to come to an end now. We're in the age of modernity, for Christ's sake. There's no need to embrace these primitive concepts of theocracy, culturalism, racism, political romanticism, nationalism. There's no need for this crap. But what holds these primitive concepts together? What holds these primitive concepts together in existence? It's these simpletons. It's these primitive souls that are out here absent-minded of their own consciousness. It is they that are being manipulated by primitive concepts that should no longer be acknowledged. And I plead to you, the intellectual and the intellectually curious, do not fall victim to these ridiculous old primitive concepts any longer because there is no need to hold on to them. They are insignificant. They have been contradicted. They have been proven hypocritical. And I plead to you, it is time for us to embrace an idea that has not only catapulted human civilization to the point that it is today, but is going to continue that's going to continue the continuity of human progress. And I'm talking about capitalism. You're goddamn right. 
Anyway, folks, let me take a let me take let me let me get another drink here for Christ's sake. I'm getting all worked up because these losers out here in not only America but throughout the world are jeopardizing civility for us all. Let me go ahead and open this beer for Christ's sake. Open up another damn beer. They're jeopardizing civility for us all. Anyway, we are in the second hour of the True Capitalist Radio Broadcast. And, of course, I am your host, the man they call Ghost. And once again, folks, I want to thank everybody for tuning in with me. Before we get into anything else, please retweet the broadcast. Go to the forums. Go to the social networks. Go to the blogs. And spread it around like wildfire. Not to mention there's all kinds of little buttons underneath the player there, folks. All kinds of buttons underneath the player. Use and abuse those buttons. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's just a freaking click, for Christ's sake. It's just a freaking click, all right? Anyway, uh, I want to hear from you, 646-652-4869. I hear a lot of people talking a lot of garbage to me, not just in this despicable, disgusting chat room, but I hear a lot of dumbass jerk dicks all over the Internet uh, talking about me, making slanderous lies about me, uh, talking all kinds of nonsense when they don't know one bit about me. They don't listen to the broadcast on a consistent basis. They don't understand the ideas that I'm attempting to convey across the Internet in hopes of sparking synapses in the brains of those that are intellectually curious. They don't understand and don't have the mental capacity for comprehension to understand. So if you want to sit here and have a debate with me about any of these subject matters that I have discussed on this broadcast... I want you to give me a call right goddamn now. 646-652-4869 is the number to call. It's Baller Friday, baby. Once again, I, I hope that you've been making some serious capital. I know I have. I know I have. I, but uh, once again, you know, people out here, they like to sit here and piss and moan about things that they could have had. You know that? Oh, man, you go to any bar out here, you, you're running about 20 of those sons of bitches. Oh, man, I could have been this. I could have done that. That's because you're a sucker. Give me a goddamn. Give me my drink. Ugh. All right, let's take some calls out here. Let me tell you something. If you've got something to say, you scumbags, get your fat asses up off that chair and give me a damn call. I want to hear from you. 646-652-4869. Let's take some calls right now. We got, uh, let's see. Let me see here. Uh, do you got a call, engineer? All right, we got area code three three six. You're on the horn. Hey, Ghost. Happy Baller Friday. Happy Baller Friday, man. What's going on with you? Uh, not much. Got off school and just relaxing now. Can't wait for the weekend. So, How was uh, the first week? How was your first week? It was really. Good. It was a lot easier. We got like a new schedule now, and it's a little easier. I'm surprised I was the first call on the horn or whatever. No, don't worry about it. Hey, uh, do you? Uh, what grade are you in? Oh, a sophomore. Sophomore. So is is there already, like, some kind of social hierarchy going on in your high school? Like, is there, is there, is there like, a group of tough wannabe assholes on this end, and there's jocks, yes. and, then there's the, and then there's the freaks, and then there's the, uh, you know, whatever the hell else, the fruit bowls, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, how, how do you deal with that? I mean, I, I mean, what, what, what group are you in? Um, I just go along with whatever. I really don't give a shit. About you know, what, that's, what other people that, think. that's the best way to be, man. That's the best way to be. Because let me tell you something: college cliques are idiots. All right. Let me tell you something: the the coolest guy in high school today, you give him ten years, that'll be a funny fucking showing right there. Excuse my French, but that'll be a funny showing if you see the coolest guy in the school in ten years. That'll be a freaking joke. You'll laugh your ass off. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, thanks a lot, kid, man. I appreciate you for calling up, and good mu- good luck on your sophomore year, all right? Let me take a swig of this beer here. Ah. All right, who else we got? Uh, 914, you're on the horn. What's up? Hello? Your show is boring. Oh, yeah? How old are you? 15. 
You're 15, yeah, right. You're like eight years old. Get this here. Get off, for Christ's sake. You want to know why it's boring to you, huh? Because it's not my little pony, my little pony, my little pony. That's why you don't think that it's so great. That's why you don't think it's so hot, huh? I'm actually saying things that could make you money, but, you, you know, you're, the, the, the simplicity of your mental capacity refuses you to take advantage. 304, you're on the horn. Hey, how you doing? How's it going? Going good. How's it for you? No, not too bad here. Just, uh, you know, of course, getting uh, completely bombarded by Internet butt stalkers. But uh, other than that, it's, you know, what else is new? So, wait, I, I actually I have a question when you use that word. Go for it. Do they mean that they literally stalk your butt? Do they just look at your butt, like, no matter what? Jesus Christ, get this here. Get him, get him off. Or get out of here, for Christ's sake. What do you think you are, Seth Rogen or something, huh? Uh, trying to get to, uh, that Steve Carell stupid, dumbass, dry-witted humor? Like, um, let me ask you, uh, do you like, like, really, like, stalk your butt? Or, yes, <laughs> Sam? Jesus Christ, man. I'm telling you, you dry-witted humor assholes, you're ruining the world. You know? Straight up, man. Anybody who gives me any more dry-witted humor and they're within arm's length of my vicinity, I'm giving them a slap to the face. And I don't really care if I get, uh, I don't care if I get uh, taken to jail for it. I- I'm serious. I mean, you know, these idiots that think that they can go out and, and just, I don't know, get pity laughs. Because that's what it is. I mean, that's what dry-witted humor gets. They get the pity laugh that, <laughs> I mean, are you kidding me? I mean, well, uh, this is just stupid. It's stupid, man. Good Lord. Who else? 269, you're on the horn. What's up? I'm getting bested by bronies. Bested by bronies. Stupid idiot. You see? See, here we go. It's Baller Friday. And look, this is how they repay me. here. This is what they do, for Christ's sake. You know what I mean? I mean, not knowing that I could be on 6th Street right goddamn now. I could be chugging beers. It could be Miller time, baby. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what, what was that song? I was on 6th Street recently, and I heard a, I heard one of these cool songs, you know, by some robot or something. Some robot or something. I saw it on the – some DJ was, like, uh, uh, mixing something where you, he mixes the videos or something. And on the video was some robot – and he kept going, around the world, around the world, around the world, around the world. I mean, that, that was kind of cool, man. You know, that's, that's, that's not bad. You know, we'll row it around the world, around the world, around the world, around the world. Anyway, uh, I could be down there right now on 6th Street listening to that crap. Chugging down on some beers. Miller time, baby. Miller time. Anyway, I like that robot group there. It's pretty good. Let me go ahead and take a chug of this. I wonder who programmed them, man. It's pretty good stuff. Uh, let's see. Area code 630. You're on the horn. What's up? Oh, hey, Ghost. How's it going? How's it going? Oh, it's doing pretty good. And I just wanted to tell you about Seth Rogen. I think he's a faggot. Who? Seth Rogen. You said Seth Rogen. No, I, 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 I think Seth Rogen's an idiot. You. Okay, so what's up? Couple, uh, how many niggers have you hung in your boiling pot of stew? Uh, you disgusting, fat little bastard. You know, I can tell by that kid's voice. That, that That is a fat, spoiled kid right there. That's a fat, spoiled kid. He's one of those fat kids that's about probably 13 years old but still talks with a high-pitched voice. You know what I'm saying? Because he's been treated like a pussy wet bastard by Mammy. I'm telling you, I just I get no respect around here. You know that no respect whatsoever. It's a Baller Friday edition. We don't even have anything on the agenda. I'm just talking about random things. Let me let me go through the news here. Maybe we'll find something to talk about, huh? Let's go. The, let's go through the freaking news. All right, we already talked about Hurricane Irene out here. All right, uh, who the what else we got going on? Uh, the MLK, that Martin Luther the King, y'all heard about that? Uh, that Martin Luther the King memorial that they were going to have in uh, Washington, D.C. is going to have to be postponed 
because of this, uh, you know, this act of God, this uh, this hurricane, you know. So Martin Luther the King, uh, you know, that particular induction of that uh, particular uh, monument is going to have to wait because of the goddamn Irene hurricane there. Anyway, I like Martin Luther the King. Uh, let, let me hear what you have to say about it. Three, th- uh, we are already cold on that bastard. Who else? We have? Two, one, four. What's up? You're on the horn. Hey, uh, am I the only Texan that isn't racist? No, but you might be the only Texan taking it up the pooper. Are you taking it in the pooper? Um, wait, am I still on? Yeah, you're still on. You're you're taking it in the pooper, right? By the sound of the femininity of your vernacular. Uh, yeah. No, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Get this egg. Get him off, for Christ's sake. Look at him. He's fruiting up. He's fruiting up right now. What are you talking about? Give me a break. Give me some, give me some of that Negra right there. Give me, give me a Negra. Give me some of this stuff here. Ah. I mean, uh, I mean, a uh, Weta. That's what they call it. A Weta, I'm sorry. They call them a Weta. They're the Mexicans. They call Miller High Life Wettas out here. Uh, anyway, let's let's continue going, shall we? I mean, I, I'm I'm just we're talking about random things. It's a Baller Friday edition. We're just talking to random things, random people. Hopefully, we can get some decent personalities out here. How about eight one three? What's up? You got a decent personality or what? Uh, is this uh is this my eight one three or no? Am I on the line? Yeah, it's your, it's yours, man. What's up? All right, hey man, uh, you enjoying that beer? And uh, just you know, just asking conversation, but I do actually have a serious question. Yeah, it's a good beer. What's up? What's your question? All right, uh, my Aunt Linda is, uh, the ultimate, well, actually, she's my great aunt, but she's the ultimate anti-liberal. I'm not gonna agree or disagree or whatever, but, uh, she tells me, listen to Rush Limbaugh, and I want to know, what's your take on this guy before, you know, I just uh, go you listen. Know, first of all, I don't think you even know your ass from your elbow, all right? First of all. I don't think you know your ass from your elbow because you're sitting over here saying that your mom's a li- or Aunt Linda Lou or whoever the hell you said uh, was a liberal, and then they're telling you to go listen to Rush Limbaugh. I mean, you're an idiot. You understand that? You're an utter buffoon. You couldn't even get lulls and do a prank right, for Christ's sake. Rush Limbaugh is a right-wing, fat, jelly-ass bastard, you idiot. Get out of here, you stupid moron. Give me a break. Good Lord, you stumbling, mumbling little jerk for Christ's sake. Did you, you hear what I just did to that person right there? You hear what I did to, to that kid? Uh, I did a, a Ryu from Street Fighter. Are you good? Are you good? That's what I did. Uh, what do we got? Who else we got here? Five, six, three, you're on the horn. Hey, the Migos? Yeah, it's you. What's going on? Um, I'm, I'm just going to say, uh, I think that guy said his... Uh, mom was an anti-liberal, not his aunt, like, whatever, whatever. Oh, his his anti-liberal. Well, he was a stumbling, mumbling little jerk anyway. Don't be like him. What's your point? I just want to know how your day's going. Yeah, my day's not going very good at this point. I mean, it's Baller Friday. I made serious capital, and yet I don't get respect from these scumbags that are sitting here in my chat room. I don't appreciate it. So, you know how uh, we have... The woman running for president. What woman? What the uh, Bachman? Yeah. Oh, well, that's that's a joke. Come on, you know Bachman ain't going nowhere. Come on. Look at her. Look, look at her wide-eyed look. Look at her wide-eyed look. For Christ's sake, good lord. No, 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 no. I saw it on the news, and you know I had my friend over, and we we're like, we we're angry because we're capitalists, and we just went in my bedroom and butt fucked. Yeah, that was horrible. Uh, that wasn't funny at all. I mean, can we get a major fail for this asshole, please? Engineer, can we get a major fail, please, for this asshole? Huh? Major fail. Horrible. Unfreaking believable. I mean, do you understand that? That's not going to get laughs in, in this crowd that's listening into this chat room here. That's not going to get laughs. You want to know why? Because half of them are taking it up the pooper as they speak. All right, so they're not going to laugh about it. They're just going to be like, oh, holler, holler. Anyway, 541, you're on the horn. What's up? You got something to say? It's right, 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 right. Jesus 
Christ. 770, you got anything to say? Hey there, Ghost. You having a good uh, Brony Friday? Yeah, stupid, dumbass Brony. Get that in. Get him off, for Christ's sake. You're supposed to be screening these callers, engineer. God damn it. All right, calm your ass down. Just just give me a damn caller worth of crap here, Ben, please. All right, three, four, seven, you're on the horn. Yeah, you, you see, you idiots don't even have it planned right. You see, you, you're whistling for your your boy. Hey, hey, hey go over there, man. Get out, get, get out the toilet, man. Get out the toilet. You're on the phone now, man. Two one five. What's up? You're on the horn. I'm so fresh. I'm so fresh. That's a stupid song, you idiot. Four two three. What's up? First so fuck your bitch in the click you claim. This time when we lock, come equip the game. Uh, you know, I find it funny that uh, Tupac Shakur uh, wrote Hit Him Up, and then he got blasted. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, 757, what up? What's up, Ghost? How's it going? Uh, none. Happy Baller Friday. That's pretty good Baller Friday. I'm having a good Baller Friday. How about you? Pretty good, man. I made 280k today from the stock market. Oh yeah, well yeah. What, what were you been bottom feeding since last weekend or what? Or two weeks ago? Yeah, fuck you too, man. <laughs> what? You just gonna sit there quiet, or am I, am I, you want me to call you back? Seven five seven. You want me to give you a call back? Yeah, sure. Later. Uh, I mean, two, uh, seven five seven two five zero. You you you, you get call back, man. Come on. Uh, how about I, I yes. give your number out on the air? How about, yes. how about that? Yes. Yes. Sure. You want me to give your number? Hey, everybody hear that? He, he is confirming that I can uh, give his number out on the air. Okay. No. 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 You, you just you just confirm. Everybody ready? Everybody ready for this guy? Here it is. Everybody ready? No, dude, Can don't. We, That's come on, man. Uh, well, 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 why not, man? I mean, you know, I'm sitting over here talking to you, and now you're prank calling me. I think I have carte blanche to just go ahead and do it. You, you gave me permission. Now you're saying, no, 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 don't do it. What's wrong? Oh, uh, man, no, I just screwed up. I've been following you yeah, on Yeah, you screwed Twitter. up. Let me tell you something. Hey, hey, you better say, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll forget about this whole thing, but you better say something for me right now on the air. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? What? I want you to say something for me right now in the goddamn air, all right? Sure, what do you want me to say, bro? All right. I want you to say that you lick the bacon bits out of anal passages. Say it right now. I have watched the full season of My Little No, Bones no, no, Bones. you idiot. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it. You think I'm joking. I want you to say it right now. Say it. What was the third word? I want you to say that you lick the bacon bits out of people's anal passages. Say it. That sounds horrible wrong. Say it. I don't feel like it. Oh, uh, okay. Well, uh, I'll just go ahead and give out your number. Maybe, maybe somebody will teach you how to say it. How about that? Hey, how many people want to teach this guy how to say it? Everybody put a one right now. Everybody wants to teach this guy how to say that. See, look at that. You see that on the screen there? All right, bro, don't do it. Here, I'll say Well, it. come on, hurry up. You better say it, man. I'm getting, I'm, you're, you're wasting my air time. Hurry up. I, what was it? Oh, shit. You know what it is. Come on. Don't be sitting over there all kind of uh, a little shy about it. You called me up. You prank called me. And, and, you know, I wouldn't be this hard on you if it was worth a crap. You there? Oh, he hung up. He hung up. He, don't, is this a fake hang up? Is this a fake hang up? This better not be a fake hang up. Piece of crap. Hung up for Christ's sake. Everybody, hold on for Christ's sake. We gotta call this guy back for Christ's sake. All right, I'm not. I'm not gonna sit over here and allow this to happen. We're not. We're not allowing this to happen on my show for Christ's sake. Gonna call me up and try to make me look like some uh, besmirched fool or something. 
All right, I don't, I don't think so. We ain't playing this. All right, we, I, I don't play that. All right, homie, homie, don't play that. Jesus Christ. Anyway, let me take a swig of this beer. We're gonna call this son of a bitch back because I don't appreciate it. Let me give a little bit of a. Are you good? Are you good? Are you good? All right, here we go. Let's give a call back real quick. I guess you scared hey, me. Hey, what's bro. up? Well, what's going on, man? Come on, let me talk. Let me talk to somebody over there. Who's over there right now? I'm gonna talk to somebody over there. Nothing. It's just me, dude. You scared me enough. Okay. Oh uh, well, well, okay, okay. I tell you what, I won't, I won't let you say that. How about if I let you say this? How about if I let you say that true cat? Uh, say that. Uh, say I that am a capitalist, cap- though, dude. No, 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 no. No, you're not. You wouldn't be calling me up acting like some stupid, obnoxious, uh, fruity ass jerk dick if you weren't a capitalist. All right, I don't appreciate it. All right, say you're sorry. Say that you apologize for being the anal passage that you are. Say it. I am a capitalist. I am sorry. Say you're sorry. For being the anal passage I am. Did you hear me? Yeah, all right, all right. That's good enough. All right, we won't we won't mess with you anymore. But Can I talk to you? Lurk. What? No, you don't want to talk to me for what? No. Break off my show. Get this seat up. Get him off my show, engineer. Get him off my show. Give me a break. I'm telling you right there. You know what I did there? I did a tiger, tiger uppercut, tiger uppercut. Anyway, six four six six five two four eight six nine. Anyway, seven five seven. Thanks for being a good sport, you idiot. But uh, if you're gonna prank call me, the least you could do is make it worth the crap. All right. Seriously, I don't like annoying prank calls. I don't like a prank calls that they call up. Nobody's laughing, it's not funny, it's not creative, it's stupid, and the only person that's laughing is you. I hate that crap. I mean, you don't understand how much, dis- oh, it just pisses me off when I hear these stupid fruit bowls. Oh, hey, dude, you're like stupid, you're fat, chill out. <laughs> I-, I hate that crap. All right, hopefully this uh, fuels some fire under that fruity ass of yours. To get some originality, because uh, had you had originality at that particular time, I would have moved on and went to another call, but you didn't. All right, you didn't. You, you pissed me off, and you continue to piss me off. And I'm telling you this right now, it makes me sick. Jesus Christ. I, I shouldn't even have to be doing this. I, I kid you not, man. I shouldn't even have to be doing the show. I could be on 6th Street, Mill of Time. You understand what I'm saying? But instead, what am I doing? I'm doing, are you okay? Tiger! Tiger uppercut! Anyway, who else do we got? 520, what's up? You're on the horn. Hey, Ghost. I was just wondering, do you, um, do you use E-Trade to... Um, do you use the... What's that, E-Trade? Uh, no, I don't use E-Trade. I don't necessarily want to say what brokerage account I do use, uh, but I'm going to say that the one that you just mentioned is not uh, that bad. Uh, I think that most of these uh, online brokerage accounts that are available today aren't that bad. Uh, They give you real-time tools so that you can be able to keep track of your equities, uh, keep track of your positions. Uh, They give you up-to-the-date, real-time type of bid-ask prices. Uh, I I like it. You know, I mean, uh, I like the fact that uh, individuals can be masters of their own portfolios and not be reliant on a bunch of jerk dicks that claim to be stock experts when they're doing nothing but doing goddamn uh, Bernie Madoff Ponzi schemes. And I say it again, I don't care. All those people that lost money in Bernie Madoff's Ponzi scheme, you deserve it. All right? You deserve it. Anyway, thanks for calling, man. We got 603. What's up? You're on the horn. Hi, Mark. What's going on? Now you're just playing with your Peter Popper, for Christ's sake. Let's take some Skype callers. Dr. Poop Tickler, what's your excuse? 
But, uh, you know, who gives a crap about the capitalists? These are pieces of garbage. You, uh, you stupid, splicing pieces of uh, four-flushing, dumbass garbage. Let me tell you something. Uh, <laughs> cause of the hurricane was a uh, hot blast of air from Howard Stern's vagina. for about 30 minutes, man. I'm just Well, you to... know what? That's too bad. You're going to have to keep waiting. How about that? How about that? You're going to have to keep waiting, you piece of crap. This ain't no goddamn bread like Get out. Get him off my life. Get him out of here. Piece of crap. I don't give a crap how long you've been waiting. You keep waiting, all right? You wait until I call on you. You speak when 
when you're frickin' spoken to, you piece of crap. I've been waiting 30 minutes. Do you think I care? What the hell does that got to do with me? You're the idiot that's doing it, huh? Jesus Christ. 619, what's up? You're on the horn. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, how's it going? I got, I got two requests. Hey, can All you right, please amend me? I was, I was private messing you. And you banned me. It's DSA Charlie. And the second uh, well, request. Yeah, yeah, well, first of all, you were spamming the chat room. I don't like spamming jerks, okay? But what's no, up? What's I, I second request? I wasn't spamming. I was trying yes, to Yes, you, you were. You were spamming. All right, Speedy Gonzalez, you were spamming. Now, what's your second uh, request? All right. Either when Goofy Bone or Zeki talk, can you please hang over those motherfuckers? I want to talk to those pieces of shit. Oh, you want to, you want to talk to, to Zeki and Goofy Bone? I don't see them around here, but do you, what, what do you want to do? You want to call anyway. them out or what? I just want to fucking put them on their place. I want to, I just want to put people on their place. You want to put them in their place? Yeah. Well, wait a That's minute. What, what I, I don't do. understand is, look, look, Vato, what I don't understand is, I know that, you know, you're, you're, uh, what is it, uh, Mexican or Hispandex? I know, I know that, you know, you're one of those. What I don't understand is, is why exactly are you hating on Goofy Bone, given the fact that Goofy Bone is down with La Rasa? You know, I mean, what, what, what is this La Rasa on La Rasa hate here? That's what you think. You know what he does? All he does is collect welfare checks. Well, hey, oh, so, hey, how can so, you're contradicting so, though, Ghost? He's he's not a capitalist. He went to jail. He he has no job. What is he doing calling your show? Well, he had a job. He, he had a job. He just uh, you know yeah, uh, he gave somebody a smack to the teeth. He went to jail. The jail. I mean, you know, jobs aren't going to keep your job open if you're in jail. Hey, but I kept my but I, but I kept my job. I never gone to jail like this motherfucker. Why does he have to go to jail? Does he have to? Well, go to I jail agree. To I, I I I have to agree with that. I mean, there was no need for him to go to jail, but uh, the man went into jail. He suffered his consequences. They acquitted him uh, from you know stopping some fool's teeth in, and you know he's gonna have to go from there. He's got no job, but he's got to go look for one. I mean, he's back to back to square one. You know what I'm saying? Nah, he didn't stop anyone, Speedy. He got his ass kicked. So do you I'm think you, that. Do you think that Goofy Bone is collecting government checks? Is that what you're saying? Exactly. He shouldn't be calling you show what he's jobless. He should be looking for a job. Uh, you know, that's a good point here. Stay right there, 619. I'll see if, uh, you know, he comes back and calls up, and uh, we'll have you two go ahead and go at it. It'll be La Rasa versus La Rasa, you know? Uh, well, actually, aren't you – yeah, you, you, 619, you're from San Diego – and uh, I think that uh, Goofy Bones from San Jose, so it's going to be like the old Mexican gangs, isn't it? It's going to be like Norteños versus, uh, you know, versus uh, Sereños. Sur- Is that how you say Sereños? Yeah, that's how you say it. Anyway, stay right there. We're going to see what else we got going on over here. Area code 423, what's up? You're on the horn. And I say, hey, Sorry, sacks of crap. You know, I really don't appreciate that. I did that one time, and now you ask what? You're making a goddamn remix out of it, for Christ's sake? You're making a remix out of it? I was doing that to make fun of the asshole that was playing the song, and now you're going to... No, Jesus. Damn it. I'm just sick, man. I'm sick of this crap. I get no respect out here. I'm the goddamn prognosticator of prognosticators of these scumbags. This is what they do. This is what they do. God damn it. I'm sick of this crap. You know that? I'm really sick of this crap. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. I, I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to call him a day. I don't. I don't know for Christ's sake. I don't know. These people are fruiting it up, man. They're, being... They're fruiting it up for Christ's sake. They're fruiting up the place. 
I bet you half the over feminine males that are in this chat room right now would probably eat the corn out of everybody's crap. That's how fruity these people are, for Christ's sake. I mean, these assholes in this chat room are so fruity. If I was to blow a fart and it sounded like this, these idiots would be saying, Oh, it's a virgin. That's a virgin. You sick son of a bitch. You sick over feminine jerks. You sick bronies, all oh, you people, good God. <coughs> oh. oh, Jesus Christ. <coughs> I don't know how long, I don't know how long I can do this, man. I mean, I got chest pains, man. My goddamn heart's beating like a goddamn rabbit. I don't know how long I can do this for you sorry sacks of crap, for Christ's sake. I mean, I do this broadcast. I do this show in hopes of sparking synapses in the goddamn brains of people throughout the goddamn internet community. And all I get in return is the kind of riffraff, the cyber vermin, the bowels of the internet's sitting here infesting my goddamn show, they're besmirching the integrity of me. They're besmirching the integrity of my show, for Christ's sake. I just, I can't take it. I, I can't take this. So give me the mic. I can't take this crap. You know what, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to go to a break. I don't need to be doing this crap. I'm going to. I'm going to go to a break. Hey, uh, uh, do something that these idiots will cream to their engineer. I play something these idiots will be creaming out of their pantyhose to. I'm going to take a freaking break. These people are going to make me want to go out the fucking window. thing to say. 
You better work. Listening to Ghost on True Capitalist Radio. True Capitalist Radio. Hey, you assholes are lucky I came back. I'll tell you that right now. Do you goddamn assholes here? You're lucky I got enough beer. I'll tell you that right goddamn now. You know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and get some beer here. Let me go ahead and get, open up another one here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The only thing I'm missing now is tobacco. You know, and out here in Austin, Texas, you can't smoke indoors out here. It's illegal. Wish I had some damn tobacco out here. A nice good cigar, you know, would go real good with these beers that I'm chugging here. You know what I'm saying? Real goddamn good cigar. Anyway, I want to say cheers to everybody out there. I think I'm okay. I kind of cooled myself down a little bit. Uh... You know, kind of stood by the freezer, so to speak, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, well, not the freezer, but the refrigerator. I got a little refrigerator here in my office here. And uh, I'm feeling a little better. So uh, hopefully everybody out there is uh, chilling like some villains out there. It's Baller Friday, baby! And uh, we don't really have anything on the agenda. We were just kind of going with the flow. And unfortunately, that flow has been rather negative, And I really don't appreciate it whatsoever. I don't. I don't appreciate it at all. So uh, let me go ahead and take a swig of this here. Oh, yeah, I think, you know what? I think I'm going to try to get uh, drunk here because, uh, I mean, for a lack of a better term, I'm depressed that you assholes aren't giving me the goddamn respect that I deserve, for Christ's sake, man. And sometimes I find it hard to comprehend that particular anomaly. So uh, let me go ahead and chug these beers, all right? We're we're, we're just going to chug beers. I really don't give a crap, all right? And if you don't like it, if you're one of these people that are like, Oh, God, don't do it. It's bad for you. It's bad for your liver, man. Not good for you, man. Well, tough titty, all right? All right, I mean, uh, you, you don't understand that, you know, Jesus Christ. It hurts to wake up every morning, for Christ's sake. It hurts to wake up every morning to see the sour scowls on these individuals on the outside world out here. It hurts to see these kids that are out here in these disgusting hand-me-down clothes while Mammy's there with her hair done and her nails did. It hurts to see the sour scowls at the supermarket give me ugly looks because I am buying 
T-bone steaks, sirloin steaks, prime rib steaks in abundance amounts out of my own pocket. And these idiots are, you know, looking at me like I just farted on their best suit because I'm out here living lavish. Huh? Hey, it's your fault, you scumbag, that you're in the position that you're in. Haven't you ever heard that, huh? It's your disgusting, despicable fault. That's what it is. I know it's hard for you to comprehend that ridiculous, simplistic noggin, but it needs to be slapped in the mouth right in the goddamn face. It needs to be slapped in your mouth. Jesus Christ. It's supposed to be Baller Friday, for Christ's sake. I'm not having a very good Baller Friday because of you assholes. You understand? I hope you, I hope you assholes appreciate it. All right? Freaking dick snot. Give me my drink. Give me my drink, for Christ's sake. Ah, pretty good stuff. All right, let me take a couple of callers here and uh, see if we get anything different. If not, I'm out of here. I tell you, right, I'm going to Sixth Street Miller time, baby. Do you understand that? Miller time. And if any of you dumbasses have anything to say about it, well, talk Kitty. You're just gonna have to sit there and eat it, boy. Because look at how you scumbags are treating me here. Yeah, I deserve better than this. You understand that? You you dumb, disgusting scuzz buckets shouldn't even have the courtesy of having my presence graced in front of you, for Christ's sake. No, I'm not going to give any shout-outs. Area code 269, you're on, your, you're on the horn. What's your excuse? Oh, shut up. 305, what's your excuse? Hey, what's going on, Ghost? How's it going? I just uh, heard a couple of things. Well, what'd you hear? Well, I heard two things. First off, I heard that uh, you like taking it in the pooper. And second off, I heard that... Uh, Walk around out here in Texas uh, with my strap on. You sorry sack of... Get him off, for Christ's sake! God! 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 No! No! 
piece of crap. Look at you. Just look at you, piece of crap. Look at you, idiot. You're laughing for Christ's sake. You idiots are laughing at me for Christ's sake. How do you do that? I don't do you idiots even have a soul for Christ's sake? Good God. This is supposed to be Baller Friday, for Christ's sake. Good God. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. That's it. I'm done. Get me, get, get me out of here, engineer. I'm, I'm, I'm done with this crap. Get me out. You've been listening to True Capitalist Radio. The thoughts, views, ideas, comments, and opinions of the host of this show are absolutely his. Catch more live episodes Monday through Friday from 3.30 to 6.30 Central. Or check out archive shows at blogtalkradio.com. True Capitalist Radio. That's it.
martial law. So I, I'm sorry. I, I know, look, people are saying it's not fair. Hey, life ain't fair, all right? I'm sorry. Life ain't fair. You know, uh, because the – let's just look at it. Let's put it this way. The, what's happening here is much like what's going to happen here in the world today, all right? Because the majority of assholes in the world cannot keep civility, all right, the justification for martial law will be justified by the powers that be because uh, they're jeopardizing civility as we know it. Huh? Anyway, everybody hear, everybody hear, uh, everybody hear those UT bells? Huh? Everybody hear U- the UT bell? Huh? That's where Charles Whitman, for Christ's sake, uh, got up on top of the building for Christ's sake, started shooting people. <laughs> Anyway, they ring that bell every now and then. Uh, anyway, um, like I said, this is a martial law episode of Baller Friday. I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry I have to do this, uh, but this is a martial law of Baller Friday. I, I can see everything that you're chatting. Don't get me wrong. I can see you. No one else can. No one else can. Only me, because I'm the eye in the sky. Huh? <laughs> oh, you like that, huh? It's your fault. It's your fault. Look at people are telling me, oh, you're a dictator. No, no, it's your fault. It's your fault. I'm doing this to preserve the national security of uh, the true capitalist radio broadcast. All right, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to preserve the integrity of uh, and the sustenance and the continuity of the true capitalist broadcast. And because the civility of the true capitalist broadcast was in jeopardy, I, in turn, am... Implementing martial law in this Baller Friday edition of the True Capitalist Radio broadcast. All right, now, I'm sorry. Now, I'm I'm sorry. Hold on. I mean, you know, I'm I'm, I'm sorry. I, look, I am forced to do this. All right, I am forced to do this. Do you think I want to do this? It's like it's like a, a, a child that's about to get hit. You know, get a whooping from their parents. Do you think the parent wants to do that? No, they they got to do it. You know, they got to they got to show you disgusting primitive souls that hey, you can't act like obnoxious, stupid, disgusting jerk dicks in the jungle. You can't do this, all right? I mean, you can't act like an uncivil prick. All right? So, now look at you folks. Huh? Now look, I wonder I wonder how the show looks now that you can't see all you stupid little scumbags flapping your fat cheeto stained fingers on the keyboard, huh? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. okay, let me do it. I'll, I'll take some callers here. I'll take a few callers, and uh, it, it, of course, if we get any kind of prank callers or anything like that, you know what? It's it's no big deal. All right, it's no freaking big deal for Christ's sake. All right, it's no freaking big deal. Let me go. Let me go ahead and take some calls. Two, three, nine. What do you think about Martial Law Baller Friday? I think this is one step away from being racial Wednesday. I mean, fuck, hide your colors, hide your spicks. It's going to get racial up in this bitch. Nah, it ain't going to get racial, asshole, all right? There's no race involved here. Don't you understand that I don't like race? I mean, if there's anything that you take from my broadcast is the fact that I don't give a crap about all these primitive concepts of social order. All right, I don't give a crap about racism, culturalism, nationalism, uh, political romanticism, theocracy. I mean, these are old primitive concepts. We we no longer need to acknowledge these concepts. That's what you need to understand. We don't need to acknowledge these concepts anymore. We're in modernity. And you see, do you understand what's happening in today's modern age, folks? The individuals that are threatening the progress of humanity... The individuals that are threatening the progress of modernity are those that are out here basically threatening the whole concept of civility. I mean, like those assholes in London. Oh, did y'all see that out there in goddamn UK, for Christ's sake? You don't think that something like that can't happen over here in this, in this part of the world, for Christ's sake? You're goddamn right. You're goddamn right it will. And let me tell you something. I will be damned if I'm going to sit here and uh, just, you know, play with my Peter Popper and just, you know, wait there in the wind, for Christ's sake. You're da- that ain't going to happen. You understand that? Ain't going to happen. 
So for all you idiots that think that I'm just going to sit around and, and just and just wait for the uh, uncivil to jeopardize the civility, yeah, you got another thing coming. And, I, and I'm, I'm talking to everybody that's out there throughout the, the international community and throughout the world. Believe me, these disgusting, despicable human beings that are out here thinking that it's a great day in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood to be some obnoxious piece of trash, these people are going to jeopardize the civility of this world, all right? Huh? 413, what do you think about Martial Law Baller Friday? Now, you're taking too long. 239, what do you think about Martial Law Baller Friday? Like I said. Nah, too bad. We can't understand you. 657, what do you think about Martial Law Baller Friday? Hey, Ghost. Uh, did you enjoy watching My Little Pony? Nah, shut up, you fat kid. 714, what do you think about Martial Law Baller Friday? Um, I think I want to stick crayons in your butthole. Yeah, you sound like you do. As a matter of fact, I mean, on Martial Law Baller Friday, individuals like you would probably be uh, subjugated to another part of the region so you could be separated from civilized society. Uh, who else do we got? 510, what do you think about Martial Law Baller Friday? Hello, is this me? Yeah, it's you. Oh. Okay, hold on. Well, I don't want to hold on. You, you, you shove it up your ass to hold on. 502, Martial Law Baller Friday. What's up? Nope, don't want to hear it. 571, what's up? What do you think about Martial Law Baller Friday? No, you don't, you don't think nothing about it, huh? Nobody likes it, huh? <laughs> All right, I tell you what. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to act like Abraham Lincoln, all right? I am going, well, not Abraham Lincoln. That's a wrong, oh, that's wrong. That's a wrong context, wrong context. All right, I'm going to act like, uh, uh, I'm going to act like George Washington. That's better, all right? I'm going to act like George Washington, and I am going to free everybody right now. Everybody ready? You're free. You're free. Yes. How does it feel to be free again, huh? It's such a secular, uh, eventual episode, isn't it? Huh? Huh? Totalitarianism, freedom, totalitarianism, freedom. I mean, it's just, it's so secular in history, it's disgusting. Uh, but how does everybody feel now, huh? Everybody feel okay? Huh? Everybody feel good? All right. I tell you what, uh, I'm going to give a little bit of time for everybody out there who were subjected to um, re-education uh, via true capitalist radio style. I'm going to give people uh, a little bit of a treat. I'm going to give them a little bit of radio graffiti. <laughs> so let's go ahead and give it to them. Let's go give it to them right now. Thanks a lot for uh, uh, being good captives. All right, how about that? Uh, here's 563, Radio Graffiti. Hey, Gus, just want to say I love your show, man. Hey, man, thanks a lot. I appreciate it, bro. Uh, 516, Radio Graffiti. Uh, the hurricane was caused by Texas ponies. The flesh, I bet. Yeah, shut up, you stupid moron. 619, Radio Graffiti. What's up? When is that bitch going to show up? Uh, he ain't showing up, man. He ain't here. Uh, 860, Radio Graffiti. Hey, Ghost, I have a question. I don't give a shit if you got a question. It's Radio Graffiti. 423, what's up? Radio Graffiti. Shut up. 832, Radio Graffiti. Hey, Ghost, I love your show. Fuck you, nigga. Oh, you stupid eight-year-old little snot-nosed little brat. Where's your parents, huh? Huh? I'll tell you, your mother right now, she's at a TGI Fridays looking to get about 15 and a half inches of Alabama black snake up that disgusting uh, uterus pipe that's the size of a watermelon. 503, Radio Graffiti. All you have to do is take a cup of flour, add it to the mix. There we go, these stupid bronies again. 209, Radio Graffiti. And all you assholes that say I'm ready. Shut up. 302, Radio Graffiti. 
I'm ghost. Don't you feel bad for Gaddafi? Oh my god, he's like gonna die. Oh, shut up, you stupid, dumb scumbag. I thought we got rid of this fruit. I thought we got rid of this internet butt stalker, for Christ's sake. I thought you're screening these engineers, god damn it. Well, do something about that crap, man. It, idiot used to call every goddamn day, for Christ's sake. Jesus Christ, 903 Radio Graffiti. I'm a for Christ's sake. Oh, shove it up your ass. 239 Radio Graffiti. <laughs> no, we don't need we don't need that on Baller Friday, all right? 301 Radio Graffiti. Uh, screw you. Yeah, screw your mother too, all right? She's a smelly, disgusted, uh bad period smelling slut bag, all right? Uh, 714, Radio Graffiti. I still want to put crayons in your butthole. Yeah, you sound like it, you fruit bowl. 707, Radio Graffiti. Happy Bowler Friday. That's right, Happy Bowler Friday! Uh, 347, Radio Graffiti. Oh, you stupid brony bastards. Uh, Lobster Pots, Radio Graffiti. Go, 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 Man, I almost broke down in the black man dance in that one, man. Are you kidding me? Man, I, I'm serious, man. That was pretty good. Anyway, let's go, uh, let's go to another one. 914, Radio Graffiti. Now, you're taking too long, moron. Uh, 215, Radio Graffiti. You stupid idiot. 719, Radio Graffiti. Yo, what's up? This is Derby Grooves, and listen, Ghost, don't even trip, man. You're off. Yeah, okay. 417, Radio Graffiti. Ghost, I'm on 6th Street. Why didn't you come out so I can... Yeah, you're not on 6th Street. 405, Radio Graffiti. Capitalist Chris in the house. What's up, man? What's going on to the capitalist? And not only that... What's going on to all the members of the capitalist army? And if you're not a member of the capitalist army, well, by God, get become one, for Christ's sake. www.capitalistarmy.com, for Christ's sake. Jesus Christ. 520 Radio Graffiti. Uh, hello, uh, happy Baller Friday. Hey, man, thanks a lot, man. Happy Baller Friday. 619 Radio Graffiti. Hey, Ghost, just want to say, man, I love your show. And happy Baller Friday, man. Hey, man, thanks a lot. Happy Baller Friday! As a matter of fact, let me keep drinking, for Christ's sake. You see, you know, now that everybody is in, you notice how everybody's in control now? Haven't you noticed that? Even the uh, radio graffiti is going a little smoothly. Haven't you noticed that? Now that I implemented a little bit of martial law, all of a sudden everything's going a lot more smoothly. Everything's flowing very efficiently, very nicely, huh? I've even neglected the consumption of my alcohol. That's how that's how that's how easy everything's been going nowadays, huh? Eh? Not bad. Anyway, let me go ahead and uh let me take another swig of this beer here, huh? <laughs> Woo <laughs> All right, let me take a swig of this beer here. Ah. Uh, I'm going to just chug this, this this can here. I've already had about seven, eight cans. Let me just chug this and make it nine, right? Let's make it nine. Uh, hey, it's Bowler Friday, all right? It's Bowler Friday, for Christ's sake. Jesus Christ. All right, let me take one more. Jesus Christ. Oh, man, hold on. Hold on. Well, I got all that stomach plasma that's bubbling up in my stomach, man, because you assholes piss me off, all right? Every time you assholes piss me off, it's like that uh, It's like that song from Alice in Chains. You ever heard that song, Angry Chair? Sitting in my angry chair. Stomach hurts, but I don't care. That's a badass song, by the way. But that's, that's how I'm feeling right now, man. I got the, got the stomach plasma mixed with the alcohol in there. It's like... 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. All right. Let me take the last swig of this, and we'll we'll, we'll continue on with radio graffiti. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm, I'm drinking. I'm drinking here. It's Miller time. It's Baller Friday. Can you see the gains in the markets? Jesus Christ, man. Shouldn't even be here. I should be on 6th Street right now. Do you understand that? Should be on 6th Street. Uh, ah, that's it for that can. Uh, before we get into another uh, round of radio graffiti, let's give some Twitter shout-outs to all the folks that are out there listening to the broadcast. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about with Twitter shout-outs, well, by God, all you've got to do is uh, follow me on Twitter here. Ghost Politics right here is the name to follow. Let's go ahead and uh, show everybody that. All one word, no underscores, all right? Ghost Politics, all right? And retweet the first tweet on my Twitter account, and by God, I am going to give you a, a shout-out right here, right now, all right? We got Hatsio Miku 11. We got Hughes Ben Farden. Uh, we got uh, Japan Tragedy, LOL. Ah, oh, you stupid, sorry, sack of crap. I mean, give me a break with that stupid shit, man. Why do y'all people do that? Why do y'all scumbags do that, for Christ's sake? And look, the other idiot right next to him, Save Gaddafi. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Oh, let's say this. Shut it's Screw Gaddafi. We got Bonafide Rebel. Uh, we got some asshole named Furry's Rock, some asshole named Lady Gaga Man, uh, he he x two for Christ. I mean, you know, come on, man. I hope there's no more sick names. Please, no more sick names, man. All right. What's up, Lobster Pots? How's it going? We got Minty Floss. We got Apple Wub's Ghost. Oh, Jesus Christ. And we got Chef Poop Tickler. Oh, that, uh, that's somebody that you want to mess around with your food. Some asshole named Chef Poop Tickler. That's it, huh? We got Private Poop McTickle. And we got Capitalist Chris. What's going on, Capitalist Chris? We got Tom Wood. We got Red Smoke 169. All right. Uh, who else we got? We got Flaming Nipple Chops. Uh, we got Munch Makuchi 911. Uh, we got the Whore Master. Uh, we've got, uh, who else we got? We got Gasgara. What's going on with Gasgara out there, man? He's a down-ass capitalist. What's going on? Uh, who else do we got here? Hold on a second. Hold on. We got, uh, something going on with the damn chat room here. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, see what, who else we got going on. Uh, we got Fazio Micah. Sergeant Poop Tickler, Uncle Poop Tickler, Kalen Yamato. Uh, who else we got? Uh, we got Jack Knopf. Uh, we got Tiger Up. Her- oh man, come on! Tiger Up Her Cunt. Tiger Up Her Cunt. For Christ's sake! Just because I made reference to to Ryu from Street Fighter, these idiots are gonna make some sick. Twisted, demented, sexual idea, for Christ's sake. Do you understand that? I mean, are you kidding me? Come on. Jesus Christ. Uh, we got uh, there on Job Boy, uh, LOL at Peru. Oh, here's LOL at Peru, for Christ's sake, man. I mean, good God, man. They suffered an earthquake, you assholes. Sick sons of bitches, man. Whoever that guy is, I hope you get injected with cancer of the prick. All right? And you'll have to end up like that one bastard who went in there, uh, you know, trying to get, you know, uncircum or to get circumcised, excuse me, and then ends up getting his penis uh, chopped off by the doctor because the doctor said, oh, we saw cancer of the prick. Jesus Christ. Who else we got? We got I'm a Jew. Oh, God damn it. I don't know how many times that I have to tell you assholes this. I'm not a Jew! I am not a Jew! Jesus Christ. We got homo queersicle. Uh, Jesus. I mean, come on! 
Man, this is just disgraceful, man. I mean, it's just bad. It's just bad, for Christ's sake. I mean, we got a Kaboto Chris. What's going on? Uh, we got 16199426254. We got death to the East Coast. Oh, man, that's it. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say anymore. These guys are getting sick. They're getting perverted. They're getting ridiculous. And as, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, this is starting to become a little bit of troll terrorist activity. And I may have to implement martial law once again if this continues to happening. I, I mean, I, I may have to implement martial law. I don't know. Anyway, let me go ahead and. Uh, Crack open another beer here. Let me go ahead and crack open another beer. Uh, yeah, here we go. Another beer and another chug. All right, here it goes. Ah. All right. No more troll terrorism or I'm going to have to implement martial law once again on Bowler Friday. Uh, 920, what's up? Radio Graffiti. Read my number on the air, you stupid racist piece. Shut up. Uh, 563, Radio Graffiti. AJ Jonah Zach, what's up? Shut up. 732, Radio Graffiti. I want to stick a funnel in your ass and pour melted crayons in. You sick son of a bitch. 310, Radio Graffiti. Canada, fuck Texas. Now, here's another asshole from Canada, huh? Another idiot from Canada over here. Let me tell you something. I have. More haters from Canada than anywhere else in the world. You know, I'm serious. I mean, I have, I have more haters from Canada than anywhere else. And you know what? I don't give a crap because Canada sucks. All right, <laughs> go hump a dead moose. All right, <laughs> go stick a moose antler up your clogged up, ice filled shit funnel. <laughs> enough about Canada, for Christ's sake, because I'm sick of those bastards. 832, Radio Graffiti. Canada sucks. Texas rules. Fuck Canada. You're damn right. You know, Texas uh, kicked the living bejesus out of Canada. You know that? I bet you if Texas took Canada to war, uh, our little state could take over that whole country within 48 hours. All right? Just like the uh, Third Reich took over France. All right? Can you believe that? Hitler took over the whole country of France in 48 hours. That's exactly what uh, t uh, Texas would do to Canada. All right? Who else we got? Uh, 714, Radio Graffiti. Can I please just put crayons in your butthole? Uh, shut up. Uh, 571, Radio Graffiti. I'm telling you, you guys are getting stupid. Spread it around like wildfire. Radio Graffiti. Now you're taking too long. Navy Husky. Radio Graffiti. Melting pot. Melting pot. I'm a melting pot of friendship. Oh, fuck off, you stupid idiot. <laughs> Alcoholic. 
Yeah, that's that's good for you. Plasma grenade, radio graffiti. Yeah, oh, Jesus Christ. Who else we got? Six three zero radio graffiti. Hello. Yeah, fuck you, ghost. You're a faggot. Hey, you're talking to me like that with that fruity ass voice. Come on, man. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna call me that, the least you can do is sound like Rocky Balboa or something. You know what I mean? Like, Hey, yo, ghost, you know what I mean? You sound a little fruity, you know what I mean? You're nothing, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, don't sit there and sound like, um, ghost, you're like, you know, some fruity ass. I mean, oh my god. I mean, sound like you got a pair of cock and balls, for Christ's sake. You know what I mean? Like Rocky, you know what I mean? Like, hey, yo, you know, you, you, you put a little punk, you know, you talk too much, you know what I mean? Hey, yo, Adrian, hey, 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 hey. Give me a break. Five one zero radio graffiti. Let me tell you something. You know, uh, Alex S., the guy who made uh, the remix of me, uh, the melting pot of alcohol. I don't appreciate what you did, you sorry scumbag. All right. All right, I've seen the charts. I know that you're, you know, breaking the charts on YouTube right now for the music section, all right? But let me tell you something right now. My show is serious business, Alexis, all right? And you're giving a glimpse of my broadcast throughout the international community as if it's some kind of a joke, for Christ's sake. As a matter of fact, you even put on that little... Uh, video there that, oh, he's an actor. He's an actor. Let me tell you something, and I want everybody to be very well aware of this. I am not acting, all right? I am as serious as a heart attack, for Christ's sake. I mean, don't you think if I was acting that I would actually, I don't know, maybe maybe change up the act for once or twice? No! Because I mean what I say, and I say what I mean. Do you understand what I'm saying? I've been on this broadcast for almost five years. Five years. So don't sit over here and give me this nonsense. And for all you people that are saying, Well, you make money off the broadcast, Ghost. You make money off it. I don't... Are you kidding me? That's tip money. It's tip money, for Christ's sake. Give me my drink for Christ. Give me a drink. Ah. Good stuff. Uh, anyway, let's take some more callers for Radio Graffiti here. And I better not hear any of you troll terrorists. 405 Radio Graffiti. Here goes that goddamn stupid remix again. You're on my shit list, Alexis. You're on my shit list, you goddamn brown brody. Seven seven zero radio graffiti. Yeah, you're bad. Yeah, you better not say anything. If I were you, I'd be scared of me too, boy. I'd be scared of me too. Three four seven radio graffiti. God damn scumbags! I, I, I'm telling you, you know, I really don't appreciate you assholes remixing my voice with things that I'm making fun of. For Christ's sake! All right, I was making fun of the bronies. I was making fun of My Little Pony. You dumb scumbag! I wasn't singing that so you can loop it together with a little with a little pony background. I wasn't doing that for that. I'm telling you, you idiots are you're, you idiots are close. You idiots are very close for martial law to be implemented up in here. And, and I, I saw your little stupid chats there. All right, nobody else can see them but me. I saw you. Y'all didn't like it, huh? Yeah, yeah, y'all don't like sitting there being not being able to flap your fat Cheeto stained fingers on the keyboard and talk about me. Uh, that's that's what I thought. One more act. One more act. That's all I'm saying. Area code nine. Jesus 
Christ, shut that goddamn crap up. Five four zero radio graffiti. God damn it with that stupid suck. Hey, you want a true capitalist song, huh? 
You want true capitalist music? I mean, listen to Electric Fence, baby. You understand what I'm saying? There, hey, go ahead and throw it on for them, engineer, so these people will be forced to be listening to capitalist music. Throw it on for them! Uh, because, uh, you know, i gotta, I got to get some more beer, first of all, and secondly, we got to get ready for radio graffiti. So go ahead and throw on a song, engineer. Black single mom with the best of children waiting in line for her welfare check. Hey, I've got a plan. Go and get a job like a real man.
Hold on, but keep, keep putting stuff on the screen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prove Gasgara's message here. That's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prove Electric Fence's message here, so that they can, uh, you know, go ahead and chat. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, I don't like it, man. <laughs> What's wrong, man? What's wrong? You don't like it. Eh? You don't like it, man. I don't like it, man. It's stupid, man. I don't like it, dude. I don't like it at all, man. Not fair, man. Not fair. <laughs> oh my God! It's 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 martial law, baby. That's what you have to remember. It's martial law. Uh, and, you know, sometimes you know. I mean, you know, when you were some d- disgusting, despicable jerk, dick. The whole time. I mean, sometimes you just don't you don't you don't get rewarded. It's just how it is to it. You know. I know. I know. You know. It's just it's just it. You know. Uh, Desert Rose. What's going on? Let me. You know. What's going on to all the peeps that uh, you know? Give me some respect around here. I appreciate it. What's going on? Huh? Anyway. Anyway, uh, let me go ahead and lift martial law for a second, okay? Just so that everybody can go ahead and uh, chat for a little bit. All right, everybody there, I've lifted martial law. Everybody like it? Huh? I'm free. Huh? There we go. Let me, let me go ahead and take a chug of this beer here. Ah. Let's take some more ball. Uh, let's take some more uh, callers here. How about that? Uh, 712 Radio Graffiti. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, five four one radio graffiti. That was stupid. Uh, five six three radio graffiti. Where's the parents? Oh God! Dumbass. Nine four nine radio graffiti. I am your host, the man they call Ghost. I'm a good delicious. I'm a good. Uh, Show it up your ass, you idiot. All right? This isn't karaoke Friday, asshole. All right? We don't want to hear your stupid, disgusting, ridiculous, third-rate, lounge act rendition of that stupid, pathetically uh, disgusting song. All right? Stupid asshole. Who else do we got? We got 508. What's up? Radio Graffiti. Thank you, Clark. That's already done for you are. Yeah, shut up. Pivot Idiot. Radio Graffiti. Friday, you fucking bastard. We can't understand you, mate. Oh, we can't understand you, mate. You know what I'm saying? You got a stupid phrase. I say computer. You know what I'm talking about, mate. Stupid idiot. Bob the Liver, Radio Graffiti. Look at that. Another man hairy ass. And so- we can't understand you either. Al Go, Radio Graffiti. Ah! Yeah, crap. 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 Now, shut up. You idiots that are sitting here trying to act like me, for Christ's sake, I don't appreciate it, man. This isn't some kind of game. This isn't a fucking joke, for Christ's sake. Every time you idiots sit here and advertise, you pick... You piss me off! You really piss me off, for Christ's sake, man! Do you think I care about you people that are sitting here trying to agitate my show? You piss me off! <laughs> you disgusting waste of human life, you cyber vermin! You piss me off! God Give me another beer. Give me another beer for Cray. I need some more beer. I need some more beer. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, you know what? That, that's I, I think I've had about enough. Uh, you know, wait, wait, hold on. a couple more, and that's it. All right, uh, two one five radio graffiti. Hey Patrick, what am I now? Uh, stupid. No, I'm Dexter. What's the difference? You stupid, 
sorry sack of four flush and crap. Get that asshole out of here. Just for that martial law once again. All right, how about that? Huh? Martial law Friday, huh? <laughs> uh, you know that's what they're going to be implementing once uh, the East Coast is hit up with its, uh, well, never mind. But you know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean. <laughs> Oh, I didn't implement martial law yet, did I? There, there we go. Now we did. Now we've done it. Now we did it. There we go. There we go. Look who it is. It's martial law. It's martial law, and everybody's gonna have to accept. Because they allowed it. Oh, yeah. Anyway, let me get some chat room shout outs and let me get the hell out of here. How about that, all right? All right, let me take it from the top, all right? Let me, well, before I do, let me take a chug of this last beer, all right? First of all. <laughs> Take a couple more. Let me take a couple more swigs from that. I, I got. I got to open up one more beer here. That's what I got to do. I got to open up one more beer here. <laughs> All right. Uh. All right. We're done with that. Well, let's say one more. One more. One more. One more. One more. One freaking more, baby. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm in a good mood. You know, it must be the beer that's that's uh, running through my veins at this point in time. I am going to lift martial law. Lift martial law, Spartan. Let's lift, lift it. I'm sorry. I had a good day in the markets, man. I'm getting drunk. You gotta, you gotta forgive me. Anyway. Um, where 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 are we? I don't even know where that. Where are we at? <laughs> where are we at? I don't even I don't even know I don't even know what the hell's going on. I don't even know where we're at. We're we're supposed to be uh, you know taking radio graffiti, but we're supposed to be. Uh, I, I, wait a minute, ain't I supposed to be doing like chat room shout outs or something like that? Wasn't I supposed to be doing something like that? I don't know. I, I don't even know if I should be doing chat room shout-outs. I mean, look at all the amount of scumbags that are sitting over here making me look like jerk dicks. I mean, look at them, man. I mean, you know, what, I'm, I'm supposed to sit here and just forget about that? I'm supposed to just make nice? Huh? I'm supposed to be like the goddamn, uh, what do we got, the, the, stupid, the, the stupid sisters that were talking against Bush? What were they called? Uh forgot what the hell they were called. You know, those stupid three country hick sisters, you know, man, they were talking against Bush and, I'm not ready to make nice, whatever the hell their names were. Jesus Christ. I'm sick, man. I'm, I'm telling them, I'm sick of this crap. Anyway, I think I've had a, I've had just about enough, man. To be honest with you, I've had just about enough of this crap. I think I'm about out of here. I, I shouldn't even have to be putting up with this. I mean, do you understand? I'm an enlightened soul here. You know, I'm, I'm somebody who knows a thing or two about a thing or two. I shouldn't have to be uh, subjected to the type of ridicule and the type of uh, malarkey that I am subjected to on a consistent basis on this goddamn broadcast, so, you know, that's why I may be sounding a little bit upset, I may sound a little angry, because I really don't appreciate it, uh, anyway, folks, I'm out of here, uh, I want everybody to know that if you're on the East Coast, and if you're a capitalist, get out, and if you can't get out, uh, make sure that you're bunkered down with enough protection, to be able to heat off any potential uh, savagery, butchery, looting, or pillaging 
because you goddamn well better know that uh, a lot of these sorry sacks of crap, after a lot of these natural disasters, like to go out and, uh, you know, take it upon themselves to, uh, you know, make use of a lot of possessions that they didn't pay for. You understand what I'm saying? So that's my strong suggestion to everybody out there within the international community, or not the international community, the East Coast, I should say. And uh, other than that, man, I'm out of here. There's nothing to, There's nothing else to do. Everybody, you, you ruined my baller Friday. All of you assholes ruined my baller Friday. So uh, for all you people that want shout-outs, you want this, want that, here, you'll get this, all right? And then... You'll shove it up your ass. Now, you will like get an idiot for Christ's sake, because I appreciate all of you that are sitting here. You ruined my baller Friday. You ruined my baller Friday. You ruined my goddamn baller You've been listening to True Capitalist Radio. The thoughts, views, ideas, comments, and opinions of the host of this show are absolutely his. Catch more live episodes Monday through Friday from 3.30 to 6.30 Central. Or check out archive shows at blogtalkradio.com. True Capitalist Radio. That's it. That isn't just the sound of the all-new 2016 Mercedes-Benz GLC being put through its paces. It's the sound of innovation. The innovation behind one of the most advanced SUVs on the road today. With multiple driving modes, a suite of intelligent drive systems, and a technology-filled cabin that sets new standards in modern luxury. This is what innovation sounds like. Now, discover what it feels like in a 2016 Mercedes-Benz GLC. Some equipment described as optional.